Now, recently, DC released their latest cinematic, latest cinematic movie, Suicide Squad. This was a movie we had known was coming for a while. I mean, uh, we, we had gotten very excited about it. So much so that in knowing it was coming, I, a couple of months ago, pu purchased a Suicide Squad comic in order to do some reading up on it. Now, in terms of superhero movies this year, it, it's got some quite stiff competition with movies like, De movies like Deadpool, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Batman vs... Well, not Batman vs. Superman, it's not the same universe, but X-Men Apocalypse as well. Now, I went to see Batman vs. Superman when it came out a couple of months ago, and to be honest, I felt it was okay. I mean, it wasn't overwhelming, but I thought it was a pretty good film. So, I decided to go and see the new Suicide Squad movie, to see if it was any good. I was excited about it, and let me tell you, it is great. It is a brilliant film. I mean, I mean, DC may have come up slightly short, or so with Batman vs Superman. Depends on who you ask. But Suicide Squad blows it out. The they they hit a hard. They rolled a hard six with this one. I mean, for anyone who doesn't particularly know, I'll give you a brief summary. The uh, hang on, let me get my head straight here. Right, and the Suicide Squad is formed by a government agent named Amanda Waller, who intends, she doesn't really trust superheroes, so what she plans to do is create a team of supervillains in prison and use them in order to complete certain tasks that either superheroes won't do or they don't even know about. Now... Now, the team can range quite widely, given its name Suicide Squad, as during missions, members do sometimes die and are replaced with other ones. I mean, the one I read in the comic, this had... It, the movie version is quite different. I mean, in the comic, the kind of big, strong figure whom I saw was was the Flash villain King Shark, but for the movie that would have evidently been a little bit difficult to kind of animate or make up or whatever, so they, he was swapped out for Killer Croc. Anyway, a team of supervillains, and they basically co complete certain tasks or missions in order to get time shaved off their sentences. I.e. if they survive a mission and they've got a 20-year sentence, 10 years off, that means they only have to serve 10 years in prison. Now I'll admit, going into going into the movie of this, I was a little hesitant, specifically with Will Smith as Will Smith as Deadshot. Now don't get me wrong, Will Smith as an actor is a great guy. I mean, I've seen him in in you know, other stuff like the Men in Black movies. Of he he grew quite a popular following with Fresh Prince of Bel Air and everything on the side. Now my problem with this. My problem with him when I first heard that he was cast as Deadshot was when you get particularly big names, like big Hollywood names, house household names, in order to play superheroes, it can go either way. I mean, just to summarise, uh, Michael Keaton as Batman, he he set the Batman that, ev that everyone else has tried to live up for, to from time to time. But in other cases, uh, Ben Affleck, when when he was cast, he divided opinions. I mean, I thought he did a good Batman, but then he also did a subpar Daredevil. So, yeah. Halle Berry may have done great at Storm, but as Catwoman, she was disastrous. And Ryan Reynolds, well, he wasn't that bad. His uh, Hal Jordan, I agree, in Lantern, his is generally looked down upon. So, the... So hiring kind of big names to do to play your superheroes is always something of a risk. But so I was a little unsure hearing that Deadshot was good, was going to be played by Will Smith, but let me tell you, I have no problem with it anymore. I saw the movie and Will Smith's Deadshot is perfect. I mean, when I went in there, I was kind of comparing him in my mind to the dead shot that I had become comfortable with, Michael Rowe, uh, from 
the dead shot from Arrow. And I gotta admit, Will Smith was better. I mean, Michael Rowe did a great job, but one of the key aspects of Deadshot, and I've noticed from the comics and everywhere else I've heard about, was that he is very close to his daughter. Everything he does is because he wants to see his daughter again. Whereas in Arrow, while well, Michael Rowe did a great Deadshot kind of on screen, when it came down to kind of the scenes with his daughter, it seems like his daughter was scared, was very scared of him. Like she didn't even want to be a part of, be a part with him. But this time, I could totally believe the relationship that they had between Floyd Lawton, Will Smith's character, and his daughter. This was beautiful. I mean, as for the rest of the cast, Will Smith, I've already mentioned, was top notch. Margot Robbie as uh, Harley Quinn was just. She was crazy, and that was brilliant. Uh, in terms of the other characters, Kinnaman as Rick Flagg, I felt was br I felt was great. Viola Davis as uh, Amanda Waller, that I felt was brilliant. And I don't personally know Vi Viola Davis that much. I haven't seen anything to glee that she's in, but she was a perfect Amanda Waller. Other casting they had, Jay, Jay Courtney as Captain Boomerang, the Flash villain. He was hilarious. And gave every single cast member, every single actor that they had, with every single character, I think worked. K Killer Croc, Katana, um, and Enchantress. Every single one of them, I felt top-notch. And the story, I felt it was perfect. So I'd advise you, if you haven't seen Suicide Squad already, I say get yourself down to a theatre. It doesn't matter if you're thoroughly against DC, I just say watch it. This is the movie that puts DC back on the ladder. I mean, they, as I said, they've done a few bad movies in their time, such as uh, Green Lantern, Steel, and the less said about Batman and Robin, the better, plus Catwoman. But this is the movie, I mean, they've had Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, but Suicide Squad in there, that's a good one. They banked a good one now, and now with stuff like Wonder Woman and Justice League coming out in the next year, with more to come, such as Aquaman, The Flash, and another attempt at Green Lantern, it can only go up from here. So, as I've always stated, I felt Marvel made the better movies and DC did the better TV, but DC is back on the ladder and climbing fast. DC, you're doing great with your movies, keep it up. And if Justice League is half as good as Suicide Squad, we know we're in for a good one. That's all to say. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe down below or leave a like. And, well, see you later.